using document size presets. All right, let's talk about what I think is the most important feature in Genuine Fractals, and that's the document size presets. If you've ever tried to make a print from your digital camera, you'll notice that the proportions of your digital camera's sensor, or basically the aspect ratio of the image, is different than the aspect ratio of the paper that you want to print on. For example, if you've ever tried to make an 8x10 print from your digital camera, you know that you end up either having to crop off part of the image or you're going to have little white bars because most digital cameras shoot in about a 7x10 aspect ratio. And it can be difficult to know do you need to blow the image up and then crop it or crop it and then blow it up. Well, with Genuine Fractals, you can do both at the same time using the document size presets. They live right here in the bottom of the document size pane. Just click where it says Presets. And from the pop-up, you'll see a list of the most common photographic, paper, and even video sizes. It even gives you the ability to create and manage your own custom sizes. I use the document size presets almost every time that I use Genuine Fractals. Because I know the size of print that I'm going for, and it's typically a standard size, all I need to do is just select it. So let's say for this image, I want to make a 20 by 24 inch print. I just select from the photographic sizes, 20 by 24, and when I do that, you'll see a crop box will appear on top of my image automatically. And if we look at the document size, you'll notice that the width and height are now set automatically to match my preset size. I can now select the crop tool from the toolbar at the bottom, and I can move the crop box up or down within my scene to help me recompose it. I can even click on any of the corners and change the size of the box and whatever appears inside of that crop box is always going to give me a 20 by 24 inch print. It's just like looking through my camera again. Once I have the crop set the way I want, just press apply and my image will be cropped and resized at the same time and the results will go back to the host application.